What did a kid in your school do to get expelled? I live in a ruralish Irish town and our school was built next to a massive wheat farm. One day a kid bought in a plastic bottle filled with petrol and matches. He hopped over the fence at lunchtime and set the field on fire. Destroyed the farmer's entire plot. Apparently it was about 500k worth of crops. He also served time. Was pretty wild. Two kids were dealing drugs out of their lockers. One had a locker upstairs and the other's locker was downstairs. Everyone who bought drugs knew the combinations. People were told which locker had their merch, and when you had class on that floor you'd get a hall pass and stop by the locker. A teacher got suspicious of seeing multiple kids going to the same locker. I will never forget being in class and getting the lockdown announcement, while drug dogs were brought in, and seeing one of the kids flying down the hallway toward his locker. Threw a chair at our pregnant teacher in year 5, 9 to 10 year old. I also went to his house to play because our moms were friends and he beat me up so badly, kicking my stomach in until I puked in the car ride home and my mom came running in screaming. I'm also a girl, so it's not like we were rowdy boys play fighting. Never seen that kid since. What inspired you to go visit after the chair incident? The play date was before he got excluded. I should have clarified that. He got moved to the other year five class and hated the new teacher and he threw the chair. Repeatedly put used condoms in a girl's locker to the point where there was a sting operation to catch him. Dude smuggled a wine bottle. How the teachers found out? Well, the brass knuckles he was carrying in the backpack broke the bottle and spilled wine in the middle of the classroom. This is why you only commit one crime at a time. Very weird kid in my year at the time came into school with huge amounts of hairspray in his hair. The amount where your hair eventually sticks like gel but without actually using any guy that sat behind him in one of our classes happened to be one of the worst behaved kids in the school and he proceeded to get out his lighter and light his hair on fire. It didn't go up like if it were oil but it definitely stayed alight long enough to see him running out the door with his hair smoking. Both kids were gone after that. Both kids? One was expelled and the other moved schools. So there was a chance they ended up in the same school. The weird one moved up country and eventually became even weirder, and the bad one moved to a school specifically for kids like him and became one of those guys that fish for crab way out at sea for weeks on end. He was a mad bastard. A kid escaped school on a Gordon Food Service truck during recess. They found him hiding in the uncrustable sandwich box while unloading the truck when they got back to their little warehouse. He could fart at will by sucking air into his a-hole and then letting it rip. He once tried it under the shower after pee. Well, it turns out that if you suck water with your a-hole, you end up shooting watery shit bombs. We were laughing our asses of to this shit cannon until one guy went to tell the teacher, and he had to go and clean it up. He got expelled for that. Okay, got to admit I made a mistake here as English is not my first language. He was suspended for a month not expelled. One kid came into the school and shot a bunch of students with a BB gun. He was a pretty troubled kid. Later on he ended up going to the same high school as me, did the same kind of stupid shit, dropped out in grade 11, and I didn't know what happened to him for many years. Recently though I found out he's gotten his act together by the sounds of it owns his own construction company and dropped the drugs. Seems to be doing alright. Unexpected ending. Pushed a kid into bookcase thus knocking down the whole row of books. All over an airplane engineering book. Some kid in my elementary school got expelled for dropping fireworks through mail slot in the school front door, blowing the glass out of it. Elementary school. He stole a butcher knife from the cafeteria kitchen and attacked a teacher with it. They tried to subdue him. This is the era before school resource officers' school shootings, and someone pulled the fire alarm. We all evacuated the building. In the ensuing scuffle with the principal, he dropped the butcher knife but grabbed all the plastic knives and forks from the cafeteria. He ran outside to where we were standing and threw them at us. Since they were cheap plastic, nobody got hurt. He was eventually tackled by the gym teacher and principal then carted away in an ambulance. Kid never came back to school. The school also decided that banning plastic knives and forks would prevent this incident from happening again. So they replaced all plastic silverware with sporks, which is the real tragedy. Kid did get the mental help he needed and has gone on to be a productive member of society. Released 500 crickets into our school cafeteria, 
then proceeded to sit back and watch the madness. Resource officer caught as many as he could and ended up putting in the perpetrator's car via open window. He had the last laugh. One girl I went to HS with stole some school letterhead and proceeded to make her own report cards all year. Super quiet girl. I had her pegged as the honor student type. I don't know if she got expelled, but I never saw her again. He stole an autistic kid's backpack full of books, took a shit in it, zipped it shut, and shook it up. He then bragged about it to one of his friends so when autistic kid had his freak out it didn't take long for administration to figure out who done it. Edit, yet yeah, total fucked up thing to do, kid was an idiot. Constantly getting caught doing stupid shit, multiple BNDs, in and out of juvenile detention etc. Shortly after getting expelled he broke into a community building, vandalized the place, and stole a bunch of shit was already on probation, again. Got tried as an adult and ended up doing prison time. Groping everything that moved. Including me. How old? We were in middle school. So the 11 to 14 range. I was 13 at the time. The kid was 2. I came back after a two-week holiday. I missed the last day before we broke up for Christmas. To discover that a person in my friendship group had been catfished for nudes by this guy in the year above. Who had then posted them on social media. He took a hockey stick to the school library on the last day of term destroyed his laptop and broke his jaw and collarbone. Got expelled pretty quick after that, but the kid who posted the photos got no repercussion, even though it was actual child norpography. Set a girl's hair on fire because he was bored. Kid sprayed bear spray all over the boy's bathroom. It spread through the halls and more than 20 to 30 people got it in their eyes and mouth and had trouble breathing, including some of my best friends, who had to go home cause they couldn't breathe. Tried to choke someone to death after allegedly being called fat by the kid. Stab a kid with a pair of scissors. I had one kind of similar. Severely autistic kid would always stab people in the back with sharpened pencils. He had to be removed from regular classrooms until high school. Kid in my sister's class called in a bomb threat to the school from the school cafeteria payphone. This was in 1999 so before everyone had cell phones. He was arrested and expelled. One of the teachers in my high school was born without his right arm from elbow down. He was the new English teacher, pretty young, good-looking and whatnot. We also had another new female teacher come in that year who was quite attractive. If you've ever heard of the movie, Teeth, it's about this girl with teeth in her vagina that like eats things or whatever. Anyway, some kid photoshopped both of their faces onto the movie poster and made it say, Mr. Scott didn't always have one arm. The picture got around quite fast and I went to Catholic school and this was a big no-no. The kid was super smart too. What a shame. After 9-11 my school had a huge memorial and planted a remembrance tree. Some kid pissed on it and ripped it up the next day. 1. Fire extinguisher battle. H.S. 2. Fox urine in the ventilation. H.S. 3. Stood up on desk, playing air guitar with pants and underwear at his ankles. Elementary. In the canyons near our housing, there was lots of old World War II ordnance from when it was a proving ground. Lots of people collected the mostly harmless dummy ordnance. However, some kids found a mortar round and it blew up while they were playing catch with it. Two of the three kids died. So the alarm went off to turn in whatever you had. They found some really impressive collections. So the fire department and Army ED came to our school to show us some examples of what we could come across. As we sat in the bleachers of the gym, this kid stands up holding what appeared to be a shiny aluminum soft ball and asked if it was anything. The ED guys froze and we all had to evacuate. Turned out to be from a cluster bomb. Never seen that kid again. When I was in middle school, around age 13, there was a girl in the class sending threatening emails with rather serious threats to all the popular girls. It ended up escalating to where the FBI was involved and it turns out one of the popular girls herself who was targeted was the one sending the messages. This was the late 90s. So don't think she even bothered to cover her tracks much and just used her home computer. IRC her decomposing body was found in the river like 10 years later. Looking back on it all, I'm pretty sure she had undiagnosed mental problems that were starting to surface and was one of those people who never managed to get them under control. He would poop in a bag and stick it in somebody's backpack. He did this twice. 
First time he got suspended and a warning, second time he got expelled. This was in ninth grade. A couple of guys yelled, The Germans are coming, and went under the table during German class, while the air raid alarm was going off for testing. Edit, good to know, this happened in the Netherlands. A kid got high on meth and stole a bus. He did a few donuts in the parking lot then drove away, only to get it stuck in a ditch. So he walked back to the school to take a second bus to go pull the first bus out of the ditch. The police were waiting at the first bus when he got there. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.